So let's customize our application in this video. We will remove all of this file and we will add the bootstrap navigation to our project. So if you go to the bootstrap documentation, you can search for the navbar and you can take one of the example from this website. If I come down, I will just copy this one and remove the unnecessary thing from here. So I will come to the app component here. As you can see, these are all extra things here. I can remove it and just paste the navigation here. If I save it, let's see what it will look like in the browser. As you can see, we have our navigation. So I will just remove some of the extra styling here. As you know, this is the drop down. We don't need this one plus the disable link. For now, we don't need the form even. It is just fine. And I will just remove some of the unnecessary styles from here. We have a home, they have the link, and we have the navbar here. So I'll save it, and then let's see. Yeah, it looks like this. But I don't want to be to use it directly in our application here, as you can see. I just want to create another uh, component for this one. You know how to create component, right? It is easy for us. So I will go to the command line here. As you can see, this this one is just running our application every time we bring a changes and save it. It will uh, recompile the file, so we should file uh, open another file here. I will go to the CSS3 gen and open the terminal here. So I will write the comments here. The comment what we are going to write is for generating component is ng, g for generating, and c for component. And you can write your component name after that. I will just give it a navbar and then press enter. It will take a few seconds to install and uh, to create our na navbar here. As you can see, now we have our navbar folder and we have our CSS, HTML, and all of these things. Plus, it will just add some file to the app no, module here. As you can see, we have our navbar component and it will import it at the top. So, we will go to the uh, HTML one and we will take everything we put here. Navbar, I will cut it and put in the navbar direct uh, navbar component here i will save this one plus uh, when you want to use this one just go to the component keyboard here here is the the selector and we can use it here press tab and save it this time it should work the same way if i come here and refresh our page it will it should automatically refresh your page if you do not bring any changes it will not uh, affect anything so sometimes it just hang here it should come here press enter so that it should recompile as you can see it worked the same way as you know now we have our navbar the uh, router outlet here and we will start uh, customizing our application 